word. Welcome to the B-Side Word. We are a group of friends from around the world where we share our thoughts and opinions on interesting articles. I'm Devin and I'm here with Emma. Howdy. I'm Hola. He- I'm here with CJ. Hello. And I'm here with Alex. Ahoy. Do you have any more uh, hellos you want to... No, you'll see why I mix the hello, hola. <laughs> oh, cool. How's, hello, uh, what is uh, this week? What's happening this week? It's been hot this week. How's the weather been in uh, UK? I looked out my window yesterday morning and I saw frost on the ground. So a little oh. bit different on this side of things. Oh. Um, there's been there's been a lot of rain. I think some people have been evacuated from homes for fears of flooding. It's yeah, it's oh. all all the storm rage at this side. Just uh, add another uh, dimension to I this. I love year. the yeah, uh, you know. I love frost. Huh? Twenty. Why? I don't what? know. Or maybe just I frost. Just... Yeah, yeah. It's really nice. Oh, okay. It's, in- <laughs> it's inconvenient. If you're trying to drive. You gotta go go scrape your car. Yeah, You're trying to I walk. Like it. You gotta walk very very carefully. I always loved scraping the car. Like I'm like, I'll do it. Okay, <laughs> what do you guys mean by scraping the car? Because when I'm hearing <laughs> scraping the car, I'm hearing like scraping a car. Like nah, the it. window shields. Uh, windscreen, window shield, windscreen. <laughs> Sorry. So what what are you what are you guys doing? Taking the there's, taking there's the light. frost on it, so you gotta. Oh, you use a scraper off. and you have to scrape scrape it off the wind off the wind Man, sh- screen. There's three main ways I've seen people do it. You either yep. scrape, which yep. is the most awkward and annoying but most common way. And you fun. have the uh, you have the all right, I'll be you know, I'll think ahead, I'll go out, start do the car, first. let the car warm up and let yep. it steam. Or some people just boil the kettle. Yeah, which you shouldn't do because it can crack the windscreen, but I have done that. I I did or crack the windscreen. Yeah, yeah crack or... the. Wind. I've seen I've seen someone put like hot water in a plastic bag mm-hmm. and then sort of just wipe wipe the windscreen like that. Oh, genius! Except how did that plastic bag? I think it was a water? plastic bag. I think it was a plastic bag. It's I'm not sure. How and it didn't melt. No, no, it's a strong plastic. <laughs> I prefer the old. Scrape a little hole and just drive and look through it. <laughs> I just, I get soapy water. Soapy and I put water. it on it. And I put the windscreen wipers on. Soapy water. Uh, I'm old school. I just put my use head out cre- the window. Use a credit card. Now I put my head out the window. <laughs> and I drive, I go, ah, it'll clear soon. It'll clear soon. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got into my second car accident. Oh. The young lady didn't clean her windows yeah. properly and she didn't see me oh uh she didn't have her head out the window see she forgot something <laughs> <laughs> anyways talking about windscreens what's our first article my kids had chewing like gum chewing today gum. first time we've ever bought it for them and uh we were telling the little one don't swallow it do not swallow it and then my other one said yeah because um well, me and the other one said, yeah, because it will stay in your body for seven years. Have you heard this before? I've heard That's why yeah. I got a belly. All that chewing gum I swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander? I've, I've heard it, yeah. Do you think it's true? It. But, no, for Alexander, it's, it's, it stays in there for 20 years because he's tall. <laughs> <laughs> Like me, 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 just five years because I'm short. I'm, I'm pretty sure if chewing gum stayed in your body for seven years, it would be the oldest thing in your body, because your body doesn't even stay alive for seven years. Like you're constantly regenerating. Like that'd be impressive. Hi. Yeah, well, we were told that growing up, and I definitely was told that. I think it was just the, so that people wouldn't swallow, right? Well, yeah. so I had to look into it because Dev had never heard it. Have you never heard it, Dev? I don't believe it. So you've heard it? I think so. Okay. So I had a look. Well, it's not true. <laughs> really? Oh, really? <gasps> now, it's true that it can't be digested. Actually, a lot of the stuff in it can be, like the preservatives and the flavor, blah, blah, blah. But the actual gum is not real, right? So you can't, it's not real gum. It's a polymer. <laughs> it's a You're polymer. Taking it. We just poop it out, right? <laughs> so, yes, it works its way through and you poop it out. Except, except in kids, in children... 
if they swallow a big piece or they swallow multiple pieces, it can just get stuck in the digestive tract and cause a blockage. Uh So that can definitely happen with children. So they... Maybe that's why they came up with the story. The stays in your stomach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there you go. But still do not eat chewing gum. Don't swallow chewing gum. Don't swallow it. Does eat mean swallow? To me it does. You poop it out and you get like a, a, a real sticky strain. Oh yeah, I don't like that. Swallowing Ugh. is eating, right? I feel I feel like swallowing is eating. Anything yeah. else is That's just part chewing. of the process of eating. Part, yeah, yeah. Mm, Does that difficult. mean pooping as part of the process of eating? <laughs> the final process, <laughs> as opposed of evacuating. <laughs> you know? But I don't like chewing gum anyway. It makes me actually feel like I want to vomit after after the flavor's gone. I can't stand to chew it. It makes my whole mouth feel real strange and like oh that's just I'm like, i if i can't so get it out i start is, panicking you don't like chewing Chew. um if it's got flavor still but the flavor doesn't last very long chewing gum does bubble gum flavor how hard doesn't. are you chewing the gum even chewing gum flavor doesn't really last long for me like maybe five minutes max are, are you chewing it aggressively I, like yeah i, I don't no. think are you sure you're buying chewing gum yeah, bubble, gum bubble gum doesn't last long. I know bubble gum, gum doesn't does last, last long. long. But the, even the chewing gum for me doesn't last long. Just even the, the extra, you know, you know extra? Like, I don't... I, when you say yeah. for you, I'm getting confused how for you it'd be different for other... Like, are you buying a different <laughs> yeah. strain of chewing no. gum or something? Like, I'm just <laughs> buying, like, extra. But it just doesn't last and then I hate it. Like, oh, it... You know, okay, this is how I compare it. You know when you've had lemon, right? So if you if you... <laughs> If you have a bite of real lemon, do you, the sides of your jowls here, does it, it, does it, does it like contract? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like here, does it go, uh, and then this bit goes, uh. <laughs> do you mean you just get like a locked jaw? <laughs> kind of, too much. but not really. How aggressively are you chewing this yeah, gum? Yeah, <laughs> what is going on? Have you ever seen Michael Jordan eat chewing gum when she's playing? That's yeah. how Emma's chewing it. I am not. I actually <laughs> don't. And that's actually a lie. And this is strange because when I was a child, I could chew it for hours and I'd fall asleep with it. But as an adult, I just can't stand it. I actually can't. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, so talking about chewing, can I talk? Can I just... <laughs> and yeah. I don't know what's wrong with you. Anyway, um, <laughs> the chewing, chewing right? She, 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 she chews gum like it's the last thing on earth. Have you noticed how you chew food? <laughs> mm, yes. Me? Yeah. I don't really chew, man. I just go <laughs> oh, a couple of bites, go. boom, oh, swallow. Oh, oh. oh you remind <laughs> me of I something, Dev. You know? Anyway, so my my nephew used to chew, but then hide his food on the gums. Who's your nephew? Your so cousin. My co- Oh, he's my cousin, sorry. So he used to chew food and then like he'd hide the food and then all of a sudden put another another scoop of food in his mouth, right? Because he and didn't I'm, want to swallow it. So I don't know why. I don't know what. Anyways, so I started noticing when I started eating, right? And I started chewing. And all of a sudden, I don't know why. I don't know if it was something in my psyche. But I started putting the food to the side of the thing. And I was like, I still have food in my mouth. What am I putting more food in my mouth? So I was able to like put it in compartments in my mouth. <laughs> and then keep Squirrel. putting food. And I could eat normally. So there's food on the sides where my cheeks are filling up. How long did this go on for? So that's a, we used to call that fluffy bunnies. It's a game. What? Is it a game? With with but you do it with marshmallows and you put a marshmallow in your mouth and you have to say one fluffy bunny. Then you put another one in, then you say two fluffy bunnies. Yeah. And you yeah. keep putting them in until you can't say the number of fluffy bunnies <laughs> anymore. But I wasn't saying fluffy bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally just a save it for later thing. <laughs> That's what later. like ha- hamsters and stuff do. Yeah, so hamsters store it in do their that. They store it in their cheeks. You're kidding. You got, you no, guys are weird. that's literally what they do. But, when you, uh, uh, you watch them, I hope and you're talking about them, it CJ. In. <laughs> And then their cheeks start going like that. What about you, too, Fluffy Bunny? And they're storing that's it a, up That's there. a game. Oh. It's not an eating habit like these weirdos. <laughs> they're chewing gum in their gum storage. <laughs> we, 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 got, we, got, we got the aggressive chewer and the food storage. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you two found each other. Can I just put on the I, record I imagine that dinner I at your table must be a bit of a strange experiment. 
What was that? Yeah, things are disappearing and um, nothing, nothing's been eaten. Can I ask a question? <laughs> How do you guys drink from a cup? Do you let the liquid go onto your, I guess, tongue and then swallow? Or do you use your teeth as a straw? Sorry, what? <laughs> what? What? Oh, God, Emma. Do this you isn't use your teeth me. As a this straw? is Dev, by the way. <laughs> me? <laughs> Emma, do you use your teeth as a straw? Dev, you know this. Because I said to you the other week or month, I said, I said, babe, oh, can you just drink for me again? And then you were like, sure. So... You you got the, the drink. The, the, that was his sexy drinking style. <laughs> and then <laughs> instead of actually like, so you tilt your head and then pour pour the liquid into your mouth and then swallow, like he. <laughs> I did not do that. You suck it through your teeth. I, I said to you at the time, and you go, yeah, no, that's what I do. I'm trying I'm to fit, like <laughs> is what is the glass like like there. <laughs> And he just like dips his lips in and just. Yeah, I don't do like, that. That like, is I don't not understand what I do. how this is happening. No, he does tip his head. No, the glass well, was is the tipped. glass over full? And he had to like no, take a bit no, of no, the no, Yes, no. that's what it was, no. CJ. Can you Am drink I... for me now? I can't. You tooth sucker, you. Could you go like this? <laughs> and it goes through your teeth as a straw. And that you, was said, normal. You, said, you said, yeah, that's what I do. That's how I do it, mate. Yeah, but there's nothing in there, so you can't do it with a drop. Are you taking it back? Um, I don't do it. <laughs> I don't I'm know what so you're lost. talking about. You know what? Oh. Mission, mission, catch Devin drinking. Emma, yeah, you've got to get a video of this. Get, the, okay. get a video. Are you going to let me? No, you got to You got to catch me. This in is, <laughs> you got to, yeah, this is sneak attack. If I... <laughs> If I see you, apparently I'll change the way I drink <laughs> that I've been drinking for the last 30 years. But I even brought it up to you and you said, yeah, that's, yeah, I suck it. What? <laughs> you said, I suck the liquid through that's my teeth. That's not something I would say. <laughs> that is, uh, that is innuendo that I would not say. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sneak attack on Dev. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say that. There is there, there is someone for everyone, isn't there, Alex? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still hope for you guys. There really, <laughs> Still hope. There really is someone for <laughs> If them two can find each other, we can find someone for us. We found Alexander. each other from across the world. <laughs> Emma's, Emma's just stood there going, <laughs> Dev, why are you drinking like that? And he's there going, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Drink normally. <laughs> and, and, they, and they knew, and they knew they were the one for each other. And at that moment, she was we like, knew Ooh, we're in love. I like the way he drinks his water. I was watching a documentary. What was this documentary on? I can't remember. But someone brought up. <laughs> Must have been good. No, it was really good, actually. <laughs> But in the documentary, <laughs> someone. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, I was watching that's not the documentary. The I don't remember what it was on, but it was really good. <laughs> yeah, but wait, wait, that's not the article. So, in this documentary of whatever it was on, they actually brought up the this thing called the Mandela effect. Yeah. And I was like, wow, mind blown, and I wanted to see. If any of you had heard of the Mandela effect. Yes. Yeah. Is that is that when you use sign language incorrectly? No. No. Okay. I think the most recent one, or not recent one, but it keeps uh, recurring is uh, Sinbad on Kazam. Or sh uh, sh yeah, Kazam. Everyone so, thinking that he was a genie when he wasn't. Oh, that's, yeah. well, I've got, no, yes. But there's also there's another the one bears, about that movie as well. The, the what so, bears? I well, what called. so Bering we'll go Barrington? through some. Barrington. We'll go through some. But the Mandela effect is basically when a large, not just a single person, a large group of people all believe that something happened or an event occurred that didn't. AKA maybe a false memory. Some people believe it's proof that there are multiple universes. That's what I was watching because I was watching YouTube about multiple universes. Anyway. Um, Documentary. So, 
<laughs> from documentary to YouTube. <laughs> How about documentary has fallen? <laughs> can you can you um can you look up the definition of documentary? <laughs> I just couldn't remember what it was because I, I like watching documentaries. I thought it must have been from something in there. Um, so uh, basically, the Mandela effect first got its name when Fiona Broom um, detailed a time. <laughs> I'm sorry I, I have to learn how to not say the word um apologies um detailed how <laughs> Nelson Mandela this is a really big one by the way yeah so Fiona Broom when Nelson Mandela died which was in 2013 he died from respiratory issues didn't he a lot of people but she came out about it first saying wait he died in 1980 like in the 1980s, rather, in when he was in prison. What crack, now, what crack was she, she smoking? she wasn't the only one that thought this. Apparently there was millions of other people that also recall him dying. Not only do they recall him dying, they recall watching or th- his funeral being televised. So this isn't – it's millions of people. Now – can this I, came to be known as the Mandela can I, effect can I, due to this. Can I give you the meaning, the definition of documentary? Yes. Consisting of or based on official documents. Oh. Was your documentary on YouTube? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and did uh, like a cardboard cutting of documentary come up, flush up? <laughs> no. <and go? laughs> I just don't know. <laughs> Trying to find the established. No, uh, I L. can't even remember because I watched multiple. I went down Mandela a bit of a, effect. Uh, a uh, Mandela rabbit effect. Hole. Maybe you didn't even watch one. <laughs> Continue. Oh, maybe. Uh, so well, uh, so she she remembers watching the news coverage. Um, she remembers even a speech from his widow about his death, but none of this happened. None. You sh- you sure she just think of the date wrong? So it's one thing. When one person remembers something that didn't happen, but when it's a massive group of people, what do they call it when one person? When one person, false memory, Nuts. false memory. So, uh, so this is my thing. I've never looked this up. I'm familiar of the Mandela effect, and I'm familiar of why it's called the Mandela effect, i.e., this story. Was anyone from? Like, where are the people who thought this? Because if every single person who thought this was, like, in the Western world or something like that, then it's possible they just were watching the wrong thing and didn't... Like, they're not really (laughs) invested in who Nelson Mandela is. And Um, they probably just assumed it was him and it was actually someone else. Yeah. Like, that's where I don't know. I can't answer that question. I don't know where everyone was. But this is not the only... This is where the Mandela effect was born. in terms of that actual Wouldn't they term? have figured it out when he became like the prime minister or president of South Africa? Who died at the same time? What public figure died at the same time in South Africa? Yeah, like... He would have had to be hey, a big public Mandela, figure isn't he dead? to then have a publicised <laughs> uh, funeral and... At that time? Yeah, in prison. And you know how I touched on some people believe it's an example of uh, multiple universes or alternate universes because I think sometimes with the glitch, some people in living at you are also living in another universe, but there's something slightly different. So we'll get on to some other instances of Mandela you, effect. I reckon you, you phase in and out of multi-universes. Maybe. Because sometimes when I talk to you and then I go, uh, I think I've got a different Emma today. <sighs> <laughs> I think some. I think uh, Emma from a different universe has turned up. Well, why is she chewing a gum? Softly? Yes, that's how I know. I, uh, <laughs> that's how I know. <laughs> I got soft chewer. So we'll go today. through some really famous ones. <laughs> right. Yeah, the first one. What you said, Alexander, the Berenstein Bears. Berenstein. Millions of people remember there was a show. I didn't. Want, I don't know what it was called they thought or grew up calling it the Berenstein Bears. So Beren, B-E-R-E-N, and then S-T-E-I-N. When in fact, it was never, ever called the Berenstein Bears. It was the Berenstein Bears. But lo- millions of people say, I even remember the cursive writing and the E-I-N at the end. Um, and they're like adamant. Maybe they just couldn't read. So th- and they were so adamant right. that it so was Berenstein. The reason I know about Be- Berenstein Bears is because someone I used to live with told me about this and they are adamant it was Berenstein Bears 
And my thing is, this is a Mandela effect where, yes, there's lots of people, but they're not just lots of people. There are lots of kids who were saying this. Yeah. Like, they were yeah. children when they... <laughs> so it's yeah. just like, well, ah, yeah. probably just read it wrong. I don't know. Yeah. Like, Yeah. Or they're just singing along to the song and they're like, is this saying one word instead of the other? Well, I don't know. That's not a big deal. Like, this is a big one where people are like, I, I just like I just don't understand. Obviously, it wasn't, and we got it wrong. But like, I'm certain. Anyway, there's other stuff like Looney Looney Tunes versus Looney Tunes. Which one is the real one? What do you think? Tunes. Spelt how? T o o n s. T u n t u n e s. Uh, I think T u n e s. It's T. It's T U N E S. But people are like, no, it's T O O N E S. No idea. He just copied what I said. <laughs> Here's like, oh, another I one. T -U -N -E -S. You know, in Star Wars, <laughs> I must. I, I must have read it wrong when I was a kid. Uh, you know, in Star Wars, T U O N. <laughs> T U O N. Cover both bases. <laughs> Twan. <laughs> Twan and yeah. In Star Wars, when Darth Vader says. The famous line. Don't read it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I, I said this to you the other day. Because you said it. Luke, I am your father. You said it the other day when yeah. we were on a FaceTime and I said he never says that in the film. Okay, so De CJ, what did you say? Luke, I am your father. And Dev, what does he say? Um, you read it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I remember it as Luke, I am your father, but it's not. Alexander, what is it? I can't remember exactly, but isn't it just I am your father? Yeah, it's just I am your father. There's no Luke. There was never any Luke. I thought he says Luke. So did I. And I've watched I've... that I've watched that a lot. Yeah, he doesn't but this say is Luke. One that, never I, did. So I think that's more one of those things where people say it, so you just say it. Like when you're quoting it, you're yeah. quoting other people, you're not quoting the film. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Probably. Here's a good one. You know right. why? Yeah. You know why you say I reckon you say Luke? Mm. Because it it um it gives you context as to who he's speaking yeah. to. Yeah. Whereas if you just say I'm your father, you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just uh, keep right. going around going. Right. I am uh, your father. I'm your father. I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> but, but if you put Luke in front of it, they know it's not, you're not talking yeah, yeah. to them. Luke, I'm yeah, your father. Yeah, Star Wars. Oh, he's not talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> he's not talking to me. <laughs> Stone some guy called Luke. That's right. <laughs> Now, I have to check this because I'm adamant that this actually is said. Now, in the Queen song, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah. Um, at the give end the, of the give song. Give me the setup. Give me the setup and I'll see if I get it. At the end of the song. So it's the We Are the Champions. Oh. Sorry. We Are the Champions. We Are the Champions. Yeah, you said the oh. rest. Sorry, sorry. We Are the Champions. <laughs> At the end of the song, at the end of the song, doesn't he go of the world? No, that's no, just that's us. what people say. <laughs> that's what we say. <laughs> you, but you know where I'm going now because yeah. you know I'm talking about Mandela effect. Apparently, he never says that. No, I know. He, no, it's but, us. Yeah, that's it's just me. We've, we've <laughs> sung it. We've sung this. And at the end, it's nothing. And it's me and you go, oh, of the world. But why? <laughs> How? Because we feel like it should finish that way. <laughs> well, so do millions of other people. Because <laughs> they all think no, it's Everyone, of everyone the world. feels it should finish that way. <laughs> 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 Not millions of people. Everybody sings of the We're world. We're probably half cut as well. <laughs> We're probably like uh, six drinks in or something. <laughs> oh, the world. <laughs> Ernest, six drinks maybe, in. Maybe two. Maybe two. Maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, wait, I'm waiting for one of these Mandela effects to hit me like, yeah, no, it was definitely that. And then you go, okay. but actually it's this. What's the ending of the Tom Hanks movie, Big? What happens in the end? Doesn't it go as he becomes young again? And so does the lady. No, the lady doesn't. What? <laughs> yeah, she becomes young. No, she doesn't. She gives him a big kiss pretty... and that's it. And yes, he walks and, away. And then he, she goes to the um, the yeah, poor lady, the and then she becomes young. So, <laughs> this is I the can't, Mandela I can't effect. Remember, if I'm honest. People have alternate endings that they believe happened. Now, in the other ending, then the fake ending, they say, "Kid Josh is seen sitting in a classroom 
only to notice a female classmate who turns out to be Susan, big Josh's love interest, big Josh's love interest. It's insinuated that Susan returned to the fairground machine and wished she could be a kid again. Yeah. But that never happened. No, he walked away. Yeah, he walked away in that overgrown clothes. Like he, he went small, like he had the big clothes on and then he grew, he I'm, went small. I'm sure. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> We've got one. <laughs> Yay, we have one. <laughs> Are you sure? 100%. <laughs> the best part about this one was CJ recorded it before Emma even said it. Yeah. This is, this is what happened. Yeah. I like that. Because I don't remember her going there. I, I remember her going I, back to I the don't, thing and becoming young. I don't remember the film. I remember bits. Like I don't. I mean, sorry. It's I don't remember. Boy, I don't remember the end of the film. Wishes, no, yeah. I remember the film. Sorry, wishes I don't remember. A, I, an adult, yeah. I don't remember the end of the film, but I don't remember that happening. Like that's not ringing any bells at all. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, there's many, many. I guess many my people. ending was better. <laughs> <laughs> you know why I don't remember that? Because I remember him getting a kiss. I remember getting him getting a kiss from the lady. That's why. And maybe that's a Mandela effect. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How did the big end? That's what I just said. He that's... was in big clothes and then he shrunk and then he had the big clothes still on. So he had these big saggy, um, he was wearing saggy clothes, these baggy clothes on him. And he's walking away, uh, walking up the stairs, I think. I'm looking, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Did you guys watch MASH? Man. Enough episodes no, to know really. about Not it? Really I'm going to go past that then. What about um, life is like a box of chocolates? You never know. Forrest Gump? Forrest Gump. What is that saying? Life is oh. like a box of chocolates. That's all you I know. You never know what you're going to get. You never know what you're going to get. Do we know. agree? Yeah. I can't remember, to be honest. I think I've always it said once. it like that, but supposedly it's not. What it's is it like? Life was like a box of chocolates. Oh. Life was like a box of chocolates. Oh, I can I imagine mean, him saying it as well. Because I did a good impression. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> The ending is he's in a car, he gets out, and he walks, and then the suit's big. Yeah. Kudos to Dave. Dude, I would not have remembered that ending at all. I remember it being something else. Yeah. Well, there you go. Okay. So, so, for, so for me, it's not the Mandela effect, it's the big effect. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's just some um, some of the the main ones. So interesting, con such an interesting concept, and there's so many things that I think I'm adamant. Like, no, 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 this happened, this happened, and it's probably the Mandela effect. I saw a video which was which I thought was brilliant. And I want to know if you think it's brilliant. So there's this uh, uh, bloke ages ago, I guess, I guess a couple of years ago before the virus came along. And he was in Brazil. And he was wondering why everyone was clapping on the beach. Mm. And he's, he's just watching these people, wondering what the hell's going on. And then he finds out that there's a missing kid. So to attract the parents of this missing kid, Everyone starts clapping around the kid to attract the attention. So, for instance, like this bloke didn't know what the hell was going on, and they he just sees a group of people clapping, right? I guess just like FOMO, you're like, why is everyone clapping? <laughs> so, like even if you're the parent, you start looking towards, you start going towards this crowd of people just clapping very loudly, right? I thought it was genius. Who's where did this actually happen? This actually happened. So like there's this missing kid and all of a sudden you just start hearing and then the group started getting bigger and there's just clapping, clapping, clapping louder and louder and louder. And that's the way that... Uh, what was the kid doing? He was lost. He was looking was for he his crying? parents. Was he crying? Yeah. He was on I the did. shoulders of this person. It was, it was, it was fantastic. I, I, I want to know like 
I want to pretend this isn't a cultural thing and this was just like the first time this ever happened. <laughs> and now I want to I want to know how it started. Like, would it have started with the kid going, "I'm lost. Can you start clapping?" And the guy's like, what are you on about? So the kid explains the idea and the guy's like, I was like, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. So he idea. starts clapping. And then someone's like, why is this guy clapping next to this kid? So then the guy clapping's like, and he like leans over his shoulder and explains into that. And they're like, oh, it's good. And it's just like this Chinese whispers of explanation yeah. of people joining <laughs> But on Reddit, it's it it's it's put there as though this all this is a cultural thing. Yeah, it's a cultural. When thing. a lost child gets found in Brazil, they take they put it on the put them on their shoulders and people start clapping. So, because remember CJ, you know when we said that if we saw a kid lost in the shopping center, we wouldn't we wouldn't um go up to that kid. Yeah, because uh, yeah, because we're creepy. Yeah. So my thing is, you go up to the next to that kid and you start clapping. And everyone goes, what are you doing? The kid's lost. Can you start clapping? So everyone starts paying attention to this kid. How good would that be? That's really cool. I like and that. everyone just, was... all of a sudden, you see this massive clapping. He goes, where did the clapping start? Over there. And then you see the mum and dad running towards the center of the clap. And then if it's, oh. if it's culture as well, like, so I get, if it, you're an outsider. See, the problem is, if we did it, it's not culture for us. So people They'd were like, like "Why, why are they clapping?" clapping? No, but that's, that's where it works. Like, if if you're not a part of the culture, it works in terms of this attraction effect. Because as Dev said, you're like, "Why are these people clapping?" So you then find out, and you're like, yeah, you "That's my out. kid." Um, but if you're part of the culture, then I guess if you hear clapping and you have kids, the first thing you do goes, "Yeah, they? where's my kid?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like on the top of the shopping center, in the shopping center, you can go over to the um, concierge and go. Can you tell the parents of this lost child to follow the clapping? <laughs> yeah. Follow the clapping. Follow the clapping. I love it. I love that. Yeah. Follow the yellow Why brick road. Take it to the follow the yellow brick road. The concierge say, yeah, it's weird. Well, that happened to my brother. What? What? He got lost. Uh, uh, yeah, we, how could you lose him? He was like can nine you, foot tall. Can you guys not remember? I found this out on the podcast. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember what? that. <laughs> Can I yeah, tell you, you the Mandela effect? Story and I didn't know. I stood up. I stood up. I stood up. Remember. <laughs> remember Siege? Really quickly, he was yeah, in Heathrow yeah, Airport. Yeah. And the he ending was... is right. The lady yeah. goes back to the and the, becomes the, 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 smaller. Um, yeah, she becomes small. <laughs> That's the ending. All right. That's the ending. That's the care. ending, guys. I don't care. That's the ending. <laughs> right. And if it's not the ending. I'm now going to make a movie, <laughs> film it, and that's the fucking ending. <laughs> it's going to make Terminator, and that's just going to be the ending. <laughs> Come with me if you want yeah. to live. So Alexander got lost at Heathrow Airport. I don't even know if he was... No, he knew he was lost. Or someone said, are you lost? Mum and dad didn't even know. Bu one of the busiest airports in the world, obviously, Heathrow. And then all of a sudden, they hear over the tatter. Could the parents of... Alexander Stewart, he was only four years old, by the way, but he knew his name and address from, la, I won't la, say la. the number, Mill Lane, I won't say the suburb, please come, whatever, we have your child. And they're like, wait, what? <laughs> they didn't even know. Hey, did you ask, did you ask mum and dad about that, by the way? No, I didn't, but I need to. <laughs> I should have gone to a lady and said, can, can you start clapping, please? Just clapping, yeah. clapping over the tannoy. <laughs> so, <laughs> How good is that? I reckon that's a great idea. I think it's no. Idea. I think it's pretty good. We need that's to bring that cool. into our culture. I'm gonna, think next so. time I see one lost kid, I'm going to start doing it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> People definitely think I'm crazy. Yeah. The <laughs> Kim Jong Un. <laughs> Do you yeah. remember the airport incident with his brother? Yeah, when he poisoned them or something. Yeah, do you remember? Does everyone remember? Wait, with, or no? with who? Sorry, I missed the name. So Kim Jong-un, oh, North Korea. Isn't it Kim Jong-un? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't know this, by the way. So he has a brother, had a brother, called Kim Jong-nam. This brother was actually supposed to be in Kim Jong-un's place, leading the country. However, there was a bit of a scandal because uh, I think the media caught him getting off a bus to go into the Japanese um, Disney World or Disneyland, whatever it is. And they were... <laughs> and they were a bit... Is that a scandal? <laughs> well, <laughs> so 
supposedly this upset them because it made it embarrassed them it embarrassed the family and he had to basically back away you know he, he had to step down and that's how kim jong un became to be in power even though he's the half sibling now this kim jong nam he was disowned by the family for this disgrace <laughs> <laughs> of going to Disneyland. Imagine we had a the Disneyland loving world. guy running North Korea. The world would be so much better. Could you imagine? So I know. Open the borders. Instead of it Rocket Man, the borders. you have Mickey 100%. Man. <laughs> now, I don't know if there was more to it, but that was that was a big thing, Pony. So anyway, he could have gone and lived a simple life and just kept quiet, but he, he lived uh, still an open life, fairly open life, which was not the best idea. So what happened in that attack, I didn't realize because at the time it was reported two females have, um, have poisoned him because one of them came from behind him. I don't know if they both or one and put a rag over his face as he was walking through the airport. Do we remember that? No. I, remember I don't seeing remember it being like that. But... I, just remember, I just remember him being poisoned. So yeah. no, he was walking through the airport and someone comes from behind him and puts a rag over his face. There's actual video footage of it. Um, only for like literally three seconds, right? That's all it took. I don't know if it was her or both of them, whatever. Anyway, 20 minutes later, he was dead. So after this happened, he went and complained to the um, security guards. They have, someone's just done this. I'm not feeling well. Oh, blah, okay. blah, blah. So, Before they could really... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I he thought, died thought... and then he complained. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought happened. <laughs> all right. <laughs> So, no, yeah. straight away he went and found a security guard. But before they could figure out, okay, well, what's going on, what's happened, he he died. This is the crazy part to it. Though the women that killed him had no idea what they were doing. They were recruited by TV producers who were not TV producers. What? They were North Korean people. And they pretended that it was a prank show. So they were there with they were there at the time. So and these people were from there was one from Vietnam and one from somewhere else. They were told we're doing a prank. It's going to be Ed. Um, they didn't know who it was, even that they were doing it too. They said um, you're going to go up to and they guess Mesa pointed out this guy and you're going to put the the rag over the face and just, it's like a joke. It's funny and it's going to get Ed the prank. So they did it. They fully believed it was a prank. They actually got acquitted of murder. And uh, North Korea denied that they had any doing in his death. However, they released a statement to Vietnam saying, we apologize for having one of your citizens, like having your citizens involved in his death, basically. Are you serious? Is this a rule? A hundred percent. This is real. How does that not make front front page? That is the, it that was is on the, the news. I saw it at the time, but I didn't. the worst alibi I've ever heard of my yeah, life. When did this but come I, out? So the he was killed in 2017. I remember that being on the news, but I didn't know about the... And I knew it was two women, but I didn't at that stage know yeah, the I, details. I thought it was one woman, to this be honest is, yeah. This no. is she was a North like, Korean spy. When did this come out about the prank thing? Because this is, to be honest, this is ringing somewhat of a bell to me. I just saw it on that spy talk thing I've been watching on Netflix. But... Uh -huh. um. But if you look at if you look at it shows Netflix not YouTube. No Netflix. But if you look on um that cardboard Wicked, documentary science come up again. Just Google it, you'll see it. <laughs> but two women, one Vietnamese, one Indonesian, and they got were acquitted. charged with his murder at the time. And yeah, I don't remember thought, how he was murdered, but I do. It is ringing a bell that they did like they weren't. Well, obviously they weren't involved, but like they involved, not wrong word, but you know what I mean. Like they yeah. they weren't intending to kill him. Yeah, so one of them said she. They pleaded guilty to because they they obviously did it, but they didn't know what they were doing. Basically, um, they were sentenced to. So the Vietnamese woman was sentenced to three years and four months, but received one third of a reduction in her time, and was released a month later. Um, and uh, but yeah, it was it was on the orders of King Yong Un basically to get you rid know of what? C CJ. All because CJ. you like Mickey Mouse. CJ. You said that was the worst alibi ever. Yeah. What? Okay. Like, run oh, me, run me through Well, it. why did you kill him? Well, a TV producer said I'm doing this prank, right? Yeah. So if I hold this thing over his head, it's going to be air on TV. 
Yeah. Now, they still don't understand how did the women not die because this thing that they used was, it was obviously enough to kill him. Mm. But apparently, so one of them grabbed him from behind and splashed the liquid on his face and the other woman covered his face with a cloth laced with a liquid. They think that by themselves they're not fatal, but when they combine they're fatal. Which is oh, weird. like plant, uh, Captain Planet. Oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, I'd say so I that's think this... This would change spy movies forever mm. if the spies don't actually do the killing. Yeah. Oh. So, 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 so James Bond, he's running down the city. He sees a young lady. I am from a film crew. <laughs> I need you to point this gun at this man and pull the trigger. <laughs> it's going to be funny. <laughs> but these poor it's women. It's the shit spy movie in the world. <laughs> these poor women, if you see their faces, like they're like devastated when they're like you know court process because like, i just killed someone i didn't even have any idea Talking and not just PTSD. anyone <laughs> like <laughs> but mm, i reckon crazy. they're faking it mm. to get off murder well it went through full trial and everything but yeah i guess you Did got no links? any of the film crew you got no links though there's no previous links like this vietnamese <laughs> girl hired. But no. like this Vietnamese person and the Indonesian person uh, probably have no links with each other. And then like yeah. it's it's so outrageous. The story is so outrageous that it's plausible. <laughs> you know you what know I mean? How, like, like you see these these ones like um, King Jong Nam. Um, what's his name? Alexander, the, the Russian guy who got poisoned multiple times. Like all these state driven murders or attempted murders whatever that happened but we always hear it about these other countries do you reckon this happens like with our countries in their countries and we just don't hear about it because of course we're not going to tell on ourselves when we do stuff like that um, probably possibly uh, i think in so. australia a guy got poisoned by a person impersonating a tv host <laughs> <laughs> but it always for example that happened in the UK, didn't it? Like they never do it in yeah. their own country. They always do it in another country. Oh, the yeah. uh, so the Russian one with his daughter. Do you mean on the bench? Huh? On the the, the Russian <laughs> one with his daughter, and and they and they killed both him and his daughter, and they died on the bench. No, together. they didn't die. They didn't die. Oh no, they wife. didn't die. They didn't die. They ended up going to. No, no. So oh, they didn't die. But you know what happened? Okay, I've got to tell this. So. Uh, this guy ended up basically being a double agent and he was telling the British um, intelligence of other Russian spies. Russia, obviously not happy about this. They sent people to kill him. Now they used an actual nuclear weapon, I guess. It was a chemical that would kill you, but it's radioactive. And they put, they put it in a perfume bottle. So by the way, this particular i don't know the name of it but it's only made in four places in the world high level like you can't just get this stuff so it was definitely ordered from the highest levels anyway so they put it in a perfume bottle to disguise it and they sprayed it on the door handle of his home this is our anyway, they both guy, right he's been I attempt think so. they've attempted to kill him a couple of times so but get this get this so they were found on a park bench foaming at the mouth they got rushed to hospital they survived Months later, because they never knew, they knew what happened, but they never knew how it happened. They don't know how this thing was transported into the country. Months later, a wife and a husband were rubbish diving. And the husband had dived into a big garbage container and found a perfume bottle. And he gives it to his wife. Look what I found. She sprays, what it, on, a cheap bastard. She sprays it on her wrist <laughs> and she died. I'm so pretty sure you told this it. on the podcast. Didn't not that I only long just ago. watched it? I just watched it. Mandela effect. I literally just no, watched like it. No, like that two days exact ago. story. I just watched uh, it. Mandela effect. I don't remember ever hearing it on the podcast. I've never I've heard, heard, heard it. I've heard that. I've got a memory like an story. elephant. I remember everything <laughs> that goes on. I, there's no piece of information that gets past this fortress all right i've never i, I haven't even heard it. that before it's, your fortress got like it's like swiss cheese man <laughs> there many holes in it <laughs> like i heard about the the husband the the dad and the daughter on the bench but i didn't i thought but they the died dumpster, the dumpster diving thing i'm pretty sure like that i know that story i've been told that story and this is the I, thing i don't talk to anyone so i just assume it wasn't it's by me though because you've not heard it have you 
No. You've not no. listened back to it. You, CJ's As not I said, me. in this prison of my brain, which captures information <laughs> and holds it in there. Maybe it was on Sometimes t- against t- its um, will, right? <laughs> cannot recall this. Maybe, Zans, it was on a so Twitter thread when happened. it was like, you know, something like that, because you were on Twitter mm. a lot back in the day. No. No, no as in I've heard sure. this recently. But it wasn't me. Definitely wasn't. But it was on, um, ne- it's on Netflix on that thing. Oh, so I it definitely haven't even... watched it. Mm, not sure. Someone told anyway, isn't me. Isn't that crazy? That's so crazy. the the and by the way, it was so radioactive that they could trace back to the entire everywhere this particular thing had been, they could trace back. People around on the plane were radioactive. There was like radioactive things everywhere. That's how lethal this thing or dangerous this thing is. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. That was interesting, though. Yeah, it was. It was. There was two bits of interesting because there was the Kim Jong Nam. Yeah. And then thingy. And who? And then the Russian. And the thingy, Meiji. Mm. I can't remember to be honest with it. The um, radioactive stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that is uh, another episode of the B Side Word. We talked about. What did we talk about uh, this week? Well, I'm we talk- topics. Yeah, no, we no. Talked we talked about, about Alec. We talked Alec- about woman who's not the woman who that we didn't know she was. Ilaria. Yeah. Baldwin. Yeah. I, I didn't know who she Hillary was. Hillary from Boston. Yeah. Hillary from Boston. What else did we talk about? Um, chewing gum. The Mandela effect. Mandela effect. Snail's memory. That was interesting. Um, what was the snail's man- memories? Yeah. Mandela effect. Yeah, both of them. And what else did we just talk about? God, we talked Kim, about Kim Jong Nam. Oh, Kim, yeah, King Jong Nam, King Yong Nam, and uh, Nam. the Alexander Russian guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and Forrest Whitaker's non-twin. Mm. Wider. Who's it? Who's it? Who's it? Widespread yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, it was like the topics were definitely different. Yeah. Every time. Well, I hope you enjoyed. And that's it. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Bye. How you say cucumber? Peace. <laughs> <laughs>